Good morning, everyone. I am the Plum Ninja, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 3. Um, I want to apologize about my uh, videos yesterday. Um, I was pretty tired. It was my first time recording, and uh, it was very late at night. I was exhausted from uh, studying and doing homework most of the day, as well as working on another project that I've got going. So anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're over here at the Cleansing Chapel now. One thing I kind of, uh, actually a couple of things I kind of uh, had come to mind. The first of which is when when I started this playthrough, um, as the Plum Ninja, I should be playing as a ninja. And I do have a dex build that is um, a ninja build, and I might save him for uh, PvP, invasions, and duels. So we'll, um, we'll definitely keep that in mind uh, for something of uh, later videos. Uh, another thing I I didn't do while I was over in the uh, the um, road of sacrifices over at the halfway fortress I didn't pop fingers so let's go ahead and knock that out now while I still got that in mind pop some fingers and let's head out of here so I'm really hoping that we do get invaded hopefully some of the people that do invade if we get invaded uh, don't hide behind the enemies I really hate it whenever they do that. I don't really do that myself. Alright. That's a shard. I don't need it. Um, I am going to need a... Uh, a... Uh, undead bone. Or... Whatever. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, so that way I can upgrade my... SS flask. So that way I can make it plus 10. Okay. So we are heading right through... I'm not even gonna bother with these enemies, mostly because we have a, uh, we already have most of the items here. Hang on, give me a second. There is one sword here that I do like, and I think I already have it. The Astora Greatsword, as well as there's another great sword out here, uh, the Ex Executioner's Great Sword. So let's see if we can go get it. I don't think I have these ones. Invaded by Mad Spirit. Awesome. We already have a uh, invasion, a PvP session going on. Let's see if we can le lead them over somewhere else, somewhere where we can be safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you guys are mad. Ow. Ah, oh, die already. <laughs> Ow, you guys are jerks. <laughs> All right, let's see where he is. Hopefully he ain't far. I don't want to be doing it all the way out in the um out where all the enemies are, so hopefully he comes this way. Oh, there's a summon sign. I don't need it. Pretty sure he's not that hard. I'm not that good at PvP, but I'm not that bad either. <laughs> In fact, see if I can uh, lure him this way. Do I have any? I don't have any prism stones. Oh, there he is anyways. Hi! What's up, friend? Where, what are you doing? There are, there's no other people here. Oh, he's a little laggy. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Got the whiff of that. Where are you going, man? Over here. Over here. Over here. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> In fact, I was kind of hoping that it would be one of those moments where we just killed each other. That would have been pretty funny. Those those always make me laugh. 
Excuse me. I'm still having my morning coffee. Okay, so let's uh let's make sure we pop fingers as soon as we spawn in, gather our souls, uh ember up and let's get moving. Do do anytime game. There we go. Okay. Pop one. Gather souls. Pop fingers. Awesome. You're good to go. Let's get moving. Alright, so do I still want to get the executioner's uh great sword? I might uh do I even have it myself? I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. Ow. Lucky you guys screw off. Oh, crap. I need, uh, where is it at? There we go. Alright, let's go get that executioner's great sword. Oh, we got invaded again. Already. Oh, same guy, too. <laughs> oh, boy. Hi. Oh, wait. Give me a minute. Hi, friend. How are you? Why do you keep shifting back and forth like that? Come on. There we go. Woo! All right. <laughs> GG. It was like we are equally matched. Okay. Fading soul, uh, there we go. Executioner's great sword. Now I'm wondering, uh, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, I'm pretty sure it goes with the executioner's uh, set, which I don't think I have. Alright, so let's go ahead and make it a. I think we have another invader. I have another invader coming in. Okay. Let's lead these guys over this way. already all right let's head up here let's make it come on come here come on I yeah. uh, just whiff him a lot of people with strength builds come across that on a lot of uh a lot of PvP because there's a lot of people with strength builds. Ow. Okay. Come on. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh 
All right, got him. Oh man, I had it. <laughs> oh, GG. Oh boy. It's pretty good. This is, again, I don't really like how the rolling works in this game. Uh, I'm glad that it gives some iframes, but it gets way more than it really needs. Especially when you get that milk ring where it increases those iframes eye, significantly. I should have kicked down that ladder. <laughs> uh, I need to go all the way around again. So, I got an idea. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a ring. Hang on, give me a second. Uh, ring, of sac uh, ring of sacrifice. How these work in this game uh, is almost exactly the same as it was in the first game. As well as the second game, except in the second game it was called the light, uh, Ring of Life Protection. And you didn't, um, oh, I forgot. When it came to, um, dying, you didn't lose souls or humanity. Uh, oh. I am being summoned to another world. Oh, sweet, so we get to do some PvP. As a blue spirit. Okay, uh, I should have probably done a different covenant. But you guys will get to see how I do online. Okay. Where are we gonna... Oh. Alright, host of embers is over here. Hi. Hi. Now where is the uh where is the bad guy? Where's the bad guy? Where is he? Where oh where is our bad guy at? Where is he? Is he over here? Where is he boy? Where is he boy? Where's the bad guy? Where's the bad guy? Oh man, I'm not here for this. I will go home. Okay, I'm not here for your co-op. Killed your lizard for you. Now where's the bad guy? Come on! Come on! There, lizard's dead. Bad guy. Where is bad guy? Okay, I'm gonna head down. I'm gonna head over to the elevator. Probably a big mistake. It should stick stick next to the host, but I don't want to be wasting my time over there and helping them do co-op. But I'm willing to bet that he's uh, waiting for us down there. Where's he at? Is he back here? Okay. Not helping. Okay. If he's not anywhere to be found, I'm out of here. Sorry, buddy. He probably saw that I was coming in and probably ran for it. 
So he's probably hiding somewhere down in the forest. And we're back. Okay. Oh, pop fingers. Pop fingers and let's head back over to get our souls. Yep. And we got an invader. So let's go ahead and head up, grab our souls, unlock that um, that ladder. Randy, baby, cribs? Sure. When I first came through and unlocked that, um, I was invaded. And this guy just kicked me right off of that, um, off of that cliff and I fell to my death. It was hilarious. I, I couldn't stop laughing for like a good 20, 20, 25 minutes. Okay, so let's see where he's at. Hopefully he's nearby. Don't want to be waiting here forever, and I don't want to be walking into a trap. Not seeing him out there. He's probably far uh, further ahead of me. I'm not seeing any sign of him. Nothing. I'm wondering if the same guy. Not seeing any sign of movement. I try to keep my back when I'm searching for them like this because um, in this game it's it seems to be pretty popular like as soon as you see someone to just sprint up and immediately do a backstab um, a lot of things in this game I'm not particularly fond of uh, there are people who are um, just absolute uh, spammers of spells uh, not that there's anything wrong it's a legit tactic it's just that um, uh, it's, it just seems to never end sometimes uh, or when um, people are using just really really cheesy tactics like this one guy was using these twin swords and he would roll and he would he would do a rolling stab so it would be roll stab roll stab roll stab and I eventually parried him and um, uh, took him down <laughs> he, he got a little upset he invited me over to a um, chat and he was like dude are you serious how did you uh, how did you parry that I just got lucky on it. Okay, I am not seeing where he's at. And I am... Not trying to pop anything. Because I don't have anything. Okay. Ah, here he is. Hi. And you have a great shield. No? No hi? Oh, it's an invasion. Bye! <laughs> Alright, there we go. I got nothing up there for you. If I was a spell build, I'd just be shooting some spells at you. <laughs> uh, 
I thought that was funny. Okay, let's grab. Let's get these thralls down here. There we go. Ow, that hurts. Quite a lot. There we go. Moving on, hopefully we can get to the deacons in time. Not that it's hard, it's just I want to try to uh, do what I was doing, do two bosses per episode. Ow. Surprisingly, that missed. Oh, you know why I forgot to swap out rings? Uh, where is my corner ring? There it is. Okay. Don't fail. Ow. There we go. 1600 damage, or 2400 damage. 1600, I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where's the guy in the robes? Ooh, <laughs> ow, I hurt. Okay. guys down. Uh, let's head over to the uh, Cathedral of the Deep. Alright. Take me down. Oh, man. First time I've ever been through this area, I had trouble with these two because they just kept bleeding me out. I did luckily get a pair of these swords in another build, um, just not the build that I want. Um, and apparently these are pretty popular for, uh, uh, for people's luck and bleed builds. Let's see. Let's see if we can lure him out of here. Boy, that was a little close. There we go. Wooden shield and an ember. Love getting these. Because they are a pain in the butt to farm. In fact, I kind of want to do something. I want to take out that giant. You can't take out the giant early on without having to deal with some at the the um, lower surface. So let's see if we can grab his attention. Hey, ugly! Let's just hope we don't get invaded in the meantime. Ow. Just a tedious task. Oops. There we go. Oh man, I missed. Come on. Just keep keep his attention like that. Come 
Come on. Oh, just a couple more swings. Like what, two, maybe three more? Oh man, I missed. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, maybe one more swing. Come on, one more. Give me one. Oh man. Oh, I missed it. I got went in way too soon. Oh, one more. One more. Come on. Come on, buddy. Give me one. One more. There we go. And you're down. That is awesome. And here we start seeing some of the deacons. These little ones are pretty easy to take down. The ones that are annoying the most are um, mostly the fat ones. The really, really large ones. Because they have more attacks than the, uh, the smaller guys and plus they take more damage. Alright, first shortcut open, well, second shortcut, technically. There is another shortcut I kind of want to go down because there is a, uh, uh, tight, uh, a large Titanite lizard. So that way I can get a Titanite scale. And we are invaded again, I think. No, I was incorrect. Okay. Down here we have an evangelist who is guarding something. I can't remember what the item is. I don't really go down here that often. Oh god. Come here. There we go. Okay, deep gem. Okay. Hmm. And now since we've taken down the giant, we don't have to worry about him in the, uh... Woo! A little too close on that. So we don't have to worry about the giant when we come across here, so... Being able to, um... Engage him from up top was... Definitely a lot better than engaging him down here. And this one's a ring. Boy, sword ring. Exploding bolts. Let's go ahead and hate this. This is our first mimic. The mimics in Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 were different, and they decided to add both of them in here. Which is strange. The ones that stand up, and then the ones that are on all fours. A little odd. Alright, and we got an Estus out of it. Okay, so there is another ember up here, guarded by another evangelist. And let's go ahead and take her down. it is but anytime you do critical attacks I, I, it just it gives me wonderful feelings does a lot of damage and just uh in just one move okay oh man I don't know what the hell I was thinking <laughs> Come here. Ow. Ow. Okay. Not fooling around. Uh, 
Okay. Uh oh. I gotta take this guy down. Oh, he pooped me! What's his shield? Hi, friend. How are you doing? Hey, what's up? Where are you at? Hey! 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 All right. Where are you going? All right. Oh, I wasn't gonna heal, buddy. Oh. You're going down, buddy. Told you you going down. All right, our second successful invader. And we were about to have a third one here, but it's an NPC. There he is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up and just head over to the bonfire real quick. Open this door. Now let's go ahead and take care of Kirk and then we'll go back over to the bonfire. Oh, I see you. Yeah, I thought you could sneak up on me. There you are. Over here, buddy. There we go. Alright, very easy. I like that they brought these uh, Dark Souls 1 armors back. Uh, I really think that they look pretty uh look the best out of the uh two previous ones okay so let's rest up top off everything oh we're invaded again <laughs> oh boy uh just uh we're just gonna have some fun with this again when i start doing um when i do invasion videos as well as uh Invasion, duel, just PvP videos in general. I'm gonna start using my uh, dex build, my ninja build, truly be the plum ninja. Okay, let's see where he is. This is around here somewhere. Let's try and make sure he doesn't uh, sneak up behind me. I don't have any um, of those talking carvings. As great as that would be so that way I could get, get their attention have them come over here. Oh, I saw movement. There he is. Hi, friend. Okay, cheers of denial. All right, let's do this. Come on. Arr, come here.
Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> Tears of Denial didn't save you. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, so... Uh, kind of something I want to do. Oh, I don't have it. I don't even have the Thrall Axe. I was going to use the... Uh, I was going to use the Quick Step um, Weapon Art. Oh boy. I was going to use a quick step a weapon art, which is really, really useful. Oh god. Let's get out of here. I'm not dealing with you right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. There we go. And then these deacons need to die. Okay. So those two are down. Well, three are down. Grab this ember. And let's open up the other shortcut. Oddly enough, there is a um, character that does come back. And I think we got it. Nope. Never mind. I think you. Uh, I keep seeing the little um, icon in the corner uh, stop flashing. I think I'm getting invaded, but. It does that when you're on an elevator. Okay. So there is a character that comes back. And if you guys remember, that wall wasn't up. So, I'm not planning on going to that right now. I really want to get this boss out of the way. Mostly because it's just irritating. Okay. Two people I want to summon. And they're both waiting for me. Henry. And let's go ahead and summon Horse. If it'll allow me. There we go. Pretty unique um, storyline, uh, these two. Well, Henry, but a uh, pretty unique storyline. Okay, so we are about to fight off the deacons. Okay, let's do this. Now this fight becomes a lot easier when you start using uh, when you start using alluring skulls. Uh, just makes the fight a lot easier because they will turn their attention to those uh, uh, to those skulls, and you don't really have to worry about them. The only time it doesn't work is when the actual demon comes out, or the actual deacon, not demon, deacon uh, comes out, and he doesn't pay attention to it, but everybody else does. You out. This would have been a great farming boss if um, if you could get souls from uh, from just killing the deacons. Like if you if you play Dark Souls uh, to um, the Royal Rat uh, the Royal Rat Covenant, one of their um, bosses had a uh, was a boss. 
basically it was just a swarm, just a mob boss of all these uh, rats, and you could just gather souls, just farm them for hours, as long as you don't kill the main uh, the main rat. Oh, I was killing the wrong beacon. Small doll and a soul. Fantastic. Very fantastic. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and rest here. And how many souls do I need to up upgrade? Because I do want to level up to at least 120 and just uh, 120 to 125 and just keep it there. I uh, could definitely use some points in uh, strength and. Uh, maybe even some endurance. So if I did two and two, I should should have enough here shortly. All right, so I'm gonna head over to the uh, the uh, Firelink Shrine. Let's go. So excited! I got my first videos already. Recorded. I was really nervous yesterday because um, uh, normally I'm very comfortable with uh, speaking in front of people. I may fumble my words sometimes, but I'm, I've never really had a problem with uh, speaking in front of an audience or to people in general, especially since um, it's currently my job is to speak to people in front of people, make announcements and stuff like that. Um, I work over at an office and uh, I pretty much work for customer service. And my job is to talk to the, uh, is to talk to the customers, so, uh, I really have no issues with talking to them. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the maiden. Give Umbral Ash. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Uh, okay, so what do we have? Vort? I don't... I think I need anything from Vort. No, I think there might be. Uh, don't need anything from you. Don't need anything from you. I don't think so, but I'm not going to sell you just yet. Fashion one. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the pot. I am a fine. I blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Very well. Then God, I didn't talk to her. Nourish. A lot of Demon Souls references in this game. Kind of crazy that they, uh, the amount that they have. All right, so I'm sitting at 120, which is Farewell, about the area that the people are, um, doing their builds. I've even heard people go all the way up to 150 and 200. Um, in Dark Souls 2, I came across people that um, were like level 800. Uh, they were almost max level. And they just have ridiculous health, ridiculous defense, and they are no easy task to take down. It's good to see what needs. Uh, I think I wanted to upgrade my shield if I remember. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I don't think that really did anything, did it? No, because your your defenses don't really change. Upgrading shields is almost pointless in this game. I don't know why I did that. Okay, burn undead shards. So now we have a maximum power uh, Estus uh, Estus flask. So let's head over to halfway fortress and let's uh, head over to um, the next area. Once we get to Fair and Keep, we'll see if we can head over right to the Abyss Watchers. Uh, I think we may have some time. May, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so let's pop fingers. Hopefully we get invaded. I really want PvP to be part of this playthrough. 
mostly because I enjoy it. Um, I did have some PvP experience in uh, Dark Souls One, just not the just uh, didn't really get a chance to invade because not a lot of people are, are playing. I did do some. Oh, ow! I did do some in Demon Souls. Surprisingly, there are still people that are playing that game, and we have our first invader. Probably a watchdog or a mad spirit. Let's go ahead and see who our guest is. You hear him. He's not that far. I see him. There he is. Hi friend, I'm I'm over here. Hi. It's just me. Where are you going? No, we are not fighting among the enemies. I'm not stupid. <laughs> He's ready to rock. Come here. Uh, there we go. Bye. <laughs> oh, I love this build so much. It's it is just a powerhouse. I think it was Dark Souls 2 when I really started learning how to build a character. Um, one thing I always did uh, throughout all the series whenever I did play them is... Ooh, we got another invader. We got another invader. Yep, another invader. What, um, anyways, what I was saying is one thing I always did in some of the previous uh, in the previous games is I always had like this really um, powerful build. He was o it was over leveled. He, she, whatever was over leveled, but um, it was across all stats, so that way I can test various uh, builds and know exactly what I want, what kind of setup I want. Uh, so that's how I kind of came up with this build. How I how I came up with uh, my ninja build. How it came up with uh, my sorcerer build. Well, still building them. Um, the ninja build, uh, the ninja build, my dex build. I always underestimated dex builds. I don't know why they are always they are always such a viable build. And um, especially since uh, I decided to make it a bleed, a uh, uh, bleed build as well, definitely helps out. Uh, makes PvP so much, uh, so much easier. Because if you bleed out an enemy, <laughs> you take out a chunk of their health. All right. What, what are you doing? <laughs> oh boy. The one thing I don't like about uh, whenever I'm playing, I tend to get cocky um, with some of these uh, PvP. Uh, I don't, not that I'm underestimating them, it's just like I, I get my overconfidence and I end up suffering for it so severely. Um, like this one guy, he. I was destroying, I was destroying him and destroying him, and I didn't, 
I didn't think about the kind of build that he had. It was Red Tearstow Ring and Morian's Blade, and uh, he parried me very easily, and I got utterly destroyed. He uh, pulled out uh, this giant hammer. I can't remember what it was. I think it was uh, Dragon Slayer Great Axe. Uh, so he parried me. He was like this really light build, parried me, and just absolutely put me into the ground. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. So he was, he was letting me hit him. So I didn't, and that's, I, I like to watch people's videos about, uh, on the PVP. I like to watch it because every, almost everyone's got their own style. Um, and usually the, uh, they turn out to be some pretty cool builds. Looks like we got another, we got another invader. We might be just getting invaded this last few minutes, so um, after this uh, after this guy, I might cut it here. We'll see. I hear him. He's not far. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can of the valley. I guess I can of the valley. Hi. No one here, just us. All right, let's bow. Nice and honorable. All right, let's rock. Let's go. Let's see if we can uh, head over to the next area. I'm really, really trying to get some PvP in because the, the last episode we had two people running away, trying to hide behind the uh, enemies. One of them did, knew I wasn't going to fall for it, and the other one was much more persistent on it. It's just that he uh, he realized what I was going to do. I was just going to run all the way to the boss and uh, try to lure him that way. And I was successful. Oh gosh, <laughs> I hate these things. Oh, I hate the giant crabs invaded by uh, yellow finger rehearsal. Fantastic. No, honestly, I hate this. I hate this one. Ah, uh, itchy nose again. Ah. Uh. It's not even spring and I'm having issues with my with my allergies. <laughs> Come on, yellow finger, where you at? Oh, there you are. Come here. There you go. Oh god. Arr, arr, come here. Oh. oh my gosh, I love it so much. There we go. Oh, I don't think you can parry. Parry too many hammers. I don't think you can, at least. Yeah? I got that, too. Oh. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Ugh. I love the war cry uh, weapon art. It looks pretty cool when you initiate it, and then um, you get a different move set for whatever weapon you're you're uh, using. 
Okay, homeward bone. I forgot. Don't really need those. Just sell those. I wish they would make these I, those uh, more prevalent, rather than just um, until you get the uh, cold sword or uh, broken cold sword to warp back and forth between the bonfire or firely shrine. Um, because when um, you played uh, Dark Souls One, you needed that in order to uh, you need that or um, the homeward spell in order to uh, return to the previous bonfire whereas like in Dark Souls 2 they had homeward bones but they also had the aged feather so once you got the aged feather those things were useless so um, it's kind of sad that they did that uh, not entire not well actually let me rephrase that it's not entirely sad that they did it I just wish that uh, they kind of stuck with using that so that way it doesn't make picking those up a total waste okay so how many souls do I have 165. I don't think I really need anything from Firelink Shrine. Um, so we are now in Fair and Keep. Uh, just every single from software game, or at least in the Souls and Bloodborne series, there's always a poisonous area. And <laughs> it's just got to be this one. And I think the worst part is like when you start going into like the deeper areas, you start slowing down. So I'm going to keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep it here. I'm gonna go ahead and just end it here, you guys. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move, um, end it here, and hopefully next time we'll be able to get uh, over to the uh, Abyss Watchers, the our first um, uh, Lord of Cinder, and boy, what a fight it is! So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.